You know, I would like to start off this video like this. Uh, please be honest, okay? Be honest with me. Uh, this is so common because we usually make videos and we'll be talking about people who will be like, yes, they are mad that you, they will be ashamed, you will succeed. That is what most Christians hear, isn't it? That is what you commonly are told. But the thing is this, have you ever wondered? Since we'll be like, yes, they will be ashamed. It will all end in tears. Your enemies will be, you know, those type of videos. But the question is, most of us still, among the people that we're talking about, that they don't want to see us prosper, they are against us, they will be ashamed, all this stuff. We get to realize, if not majority, yeah, most, even most of them at some point, they are Christians. And which Christians are we talking about? Because also us, as we're talking right here, I believe if not all of us right now watching, we are all Christians. So which Christians are we talking about except even among us? That is why I want to make it clear to you that please let us learn to repent. We will wish, we will pray, we will expect, but nothing shall happen. I like what I think it was James who described this. He was like, you... You pray, you don't receive, not because God does not want to give unto you, but because you, you pray with wrong motives. Your intentions are not right. And he was referring to Christians. So you see how important this is. We have wrong motives. We want to show our neighbors, we want to show our friends that we also can do it. That is why the prayers are not answered we are actually the ones at times at the wrong. That is why no matter how much we might end up thinking that, oh, this man of God is lying to us. He's just giving us false hope and all these things. No, he is not giving you false hope. The thing is, God is not a cyborg way or a robot which can be programmed. Whom he can be told, bless this one, oh God. Don't bless that one. Yes. na 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 na. Before he comes, to give you your answer, he also does check what is going on. Who is on the wrong? Why should he answer you? Does he feel like you deserve what he's about to give you or not? You know what I'm saying? So that's it. We are missing the mark. Let us repent. That is why I do say, uh, I think it was, uh, there's a video that I recently made. I think maybe it was uh, yesterday or so where I was like, Anybody who is coming against you while you are innocent. I spoke something along those lines, you know. That is why I know that indeed, if you did nothing wrong, whatever they do against you will not stick. They only gain the upper hand when only we are the ones on the wrong. If we are responsible, we invited those attacks. But... Like, but if indeed we did not invite anything and all these things, let me tell you, the Lord is going to come through for us. But if we are the ones who invited those things, expect that it must be dealt with justly. Sometimes, you know, I picture myself like this. In fact, I don't even want to picture myself because I have an experience. I remember some years ago, somebody borrowed something from me and uh, the fact that I could not borrow them, not necessarily that I didn't want to borrow them, but there was a lot that happened. So there ended up being a confusion and the person got mad. Thinking I don't want to uh, borrow them, that thing and all these things. So the funny thing that I heard about such, someone ended up whispering into my ears what that person said. This person started speaking curses against me. Speaking, wishing that bad things can happen to me and all this stuff. You got what I'm saying? And that's when I got to realize, listen, this is my own thing. It belongs to me. But next thing, somebody, just because they could not have it their way, now they are wishing that things can go bad for me. Come on, no, you don't have to. When you ask something from somebody, you must expect it's either they're going to give it to you or not. And for them not to give it to you, it does not qualify you to start to speak curses, to wish them bad, just because they could not lend you this thing. So that's when I realized how much error Christians are at, because I was dealing with a Christian as well. So you see, I was like, indeed, if God was to always hear the prayers of our enemies, nobody was going to make it. 
if the wishes of our enemies were to always come to pass, let me assure you, we would not make it. That is why I'm telling you right now, likewise, there are those that are against you. There are those that are wishing things can fall apart, but because what they are doing or their prayers are wicked, God is not listening to them. That is why the very same people, when they start to see you succeeding, they experience a huge meltdown, trying to shut down your success, trying to stop your success, trying to wish that things could just freeze. They don't want to see you succeed. And that is why each and every time, it's just that I cannot keep on repeating myself over and over i cannot keep on every time whenever i make a video i do re explain whatever is going on now nah, i cannot do this thing time and time again but if i would it was gonna just take me time but or if i would this is what i'm gonna tell i was gonna tell you these prayers these messages they are only applicable if you are innocent if you have people who are out of the blue, they're just provoking you. You did not do them harm. The Bible, I like how it said it was like, for those who hate me f without a reason. Yes, anybody can just look at you in their own head. They might feel like they have a valid reason why they hate you. Whereas in the sight of God, that is not a valid reason. That is nonsense. Like I gave you an example right now. Somebody wanted to, was wishing me bad for what already belongs to me. So you see, is that a valid reason? Nah, but had I robbed them of something, God is the great judge. He knows how to judge justly. So if you are wrong, if I was wrong, likely, possibly so, that prayer of that person would have been answered. But if not, then come on, how do you expect him to do so? That is why even in your case, please go before the Lord. Wherever you are wrong, please let the Lord sanctify you, purify you, cleanse yourself before the Lord. May you get to start afresh so that anybody that comes against you while you did nothing wrong, let me tell you, no matter how much they might fast, God Almighty will never answer such prayers because you did nothing wrong. And in Jesus' mighty name, anybody that is wishing you bad, that is having restless nights just because you are successful, they, will, they shall experience more headache because none of your blessings will fall apart. You shall succeed further. The Lord won't let you, won't give you up into the hands of the enemies. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And that's all I had. My details on the comment section below. See you next time.